Aligning the display, we can align the output of the applet using the align attribute. This attribute can have one of the nine values. Left, right, top, text, top, middle, apps middle, baseline, bottom, apps bottom. For example, algn equals to left will display the output of at the left margin of the page. All text that follows the align in the web page will be placed to the right of the display. Program 14.4 shows a HTML file for our Hello Java applet as shown. The alignment of applet will be seen and appreciated only when we run the applet using a Java capable browser. Figure 14.10 shows how an applet and text surrounding it might appear in a Java capable browser. All text following the applet appears to the left of the applet. An applet aligned right. More about HTML tags. We have seen and used a few HTML tags. HTML supports a large number of tags that can be used to control the style and format of the display of web pages. List important HTML tags and their functions. Displaying numeric values. In applet we can display numeric values by first converting them into string and then using the draw string method of graphics class. We can do this easily by calling the value of method of string class. Program 14.5 illustrate how an applet handles numeric values. Displaying numeric values. The applet program 14.5 when run using the following HTML file, display the output as shown. Getting input from the user. Applet work in a graphical environment. Therefore, applet treats inputs as text to strings. We must first create an area of the screen in which user can type and edit input items, which may be any data type. We can do this by using the text field class of the applet package. Once text fields are created for the receiving inputs, we can type the values in the fields and edit them if necessary. Next step is to retrieve the item from the fields for display of calculations. If any remember the text field contains items in string form, they need to be converted to the right form before they are used in any computations. The result are then converted back to the strings for display. Program 14.6 demonstrate how these steps are implemented. Interactive input to an applet. Run the applet user in using the following steps. First, type and save the program.java file. Second, compile the applet.class file. Third, write a HTML document.html. Fourth, using the applet viewer to display the result. When the applet is up and running, enter a number into each text field box displayed in the HTML applet area. And then process the return key. Now, applet computes the sum of these two numbers and display the result as shown. Interactive computing with applets. Program analysis. The applet declares two text field object at the beginning. Text field text one dot text two. These two objects represent text boxes where we type the number to be added. Next we override the init method to do the following. First to create the two text field object to hold strings. 
सेकेंड टू एड द ऑब्जेक्ट टू द एप्लेट्स डिस्प्ले एरिया थर्ड इनिशलाइज द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट टू जीरो देन कम्स द मैथड वेयर ऑल द एक्शन टेक प्लेस फर्स्ट थ्री इन टीजर वेरिएबल्स आर डिक्लेयर फॉलोड बाय थ्री स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल्स रिमेंबर द नंबर एंटर्ड इन द टेक्स्ट बॉक्सिस आर इन स्ट्रिंग फॉर्म एंड देयर फोर दे आर रिट्रीव एज स्ट्रिंग यूजिंग द गेट टेक्सट मैथड एंड देन दे आर कन्वर्टेड टू न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यूज यूजिंग द पार्स इंट मैथड ऑफ द इंटीजर क्लास After retrieving and converting both the strings to integer number the paint method sums them up and stores the result in the variable z we must convert the numerical value in z to a string before we attempt the display the answer this is done using the value of method of the string class summary applet are java programs developed for use on the internet they provide a means to distribute interesting dynamic and interacting application over the world wide web we must have we have learned the following about applet in this chapter how do applets differ from applications how to design applets how to design a web page using html tag how to execute applets and how to provide interactive input to html to applets thanks for watching this video if you found this video helpful and want more videos like this then please let me know by hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you